Hello Tubers, and as you can see from the intro, I've been busy again, uh, I've put the doors up, the tiling's been done, I've made a table, and a few other things as well. But, let's move on. Um, I need to mention that this during this build, I've not been solely doing it all by myself. I've had some help. As you know, I've had the electrician in, who's a friend of mine, fit the electrics. I've also had a friend who uh, has been helping me with the build. He didn't want to uh, appear on camera, so some stuff um, which has happened after the event has appeared on camera where um, he's helped me. So, um, big thank you uh, to my friend there. We also did um, put some plyboard here. You might, you might have noticed it um, earlier. The reason why we've done that and covering up the cladding is this wall here is not straight. Um, it's all to do with the build and by the time we've added the, the, the um, battens on and put things up, there was a big dip here. So with an attempt to straighten that up, um, put some plyboard here. Um, this area here, which you'll see um, where the table is, I'm gonna put some shelving um, bits and pieces there, but that's all to come um, later. And with that, there's gonna be another ply board being placed here. Um, so that will then straighten that up um, a lot better. And I can put a little door or flap or something on here to get to the uh, water stopcock if I need to. And I've mentioned the tiling that's been done and you've seen it being done and I've had some help there as well. I've had a friend of mine who said, if you ever need some tiling doing, I love tiling, just get me to come along. So I took him up on his offer. He uh, came and did this for me. I don't know what I was doing with all the um, spaces all in there, but it uh, must have worked. But these did come on a, on a sheet as, he, as I normally do. Um, you saw me just tidying up his work, just going, scraping off some of the um, grout and wiping it down. Still got to do a bit more stuff. Um, I've still got to finish off some grouting there. Uh, and that still needs to be done, but that's more or less finished. And whilst I was in Retford at the weekend, and I'll come to that later, her upstairs has been in the brewery and she's been varnishing, so she's been round and varnished up to 80% um, of the walls in here. So it's just this bit here and those bits there to varnish on the walls. Um, the table that I've made and the reason why I've not fixed it very well at the moment is, you saw me essentially put one um, screw in there. I did put a couple more in to help secure it further, but coat of varnish on there and I'm going to put corner brackets on the side to help strengthen it. Um, so that should be fine there. And I chipped it. I chipped my wood. Um, so I think that's going to be covered by my shelving now but we'll have to see how that works. Um, oh yes, oh, I'm here. Black Friday came along and it forced me to make a purchase that I was going to make in January and I made it on Black Friday because there was huge savings from uh, Viair on their water filters. Um, so I got their RO system and their um, water dechlorinator. Um, so that's for local brew, so when I don't want to take the minerals out of the water, and that's one when I'm uh, doing to water profiles. And I've gone for the, uh, the DI resin mix. Um, in there, so that should get the TDS down to zero, I hope. And let's look what's in here. Aha! That looks like the RO membrane. So that's all ready to go. Um, and part of the other varnishing work that her upstairs has been doing is she applied some yacht varnish um, to um, the side of the sink area where the water filters are going to go so that's nice and waterproof and she also applied some DPM to the wall um, so just down there so hopefully I'm showing you a, a picture of it now so she's done that so it all looks nice and tidy what else um, that's it um, let's move on 
this is part of the uh, uh, post where I do shout outs and as you know I was in Retford on Saturday and uh, I was meeting Harry Boo 69 who um, opened his pub uh, with a special launch to uh, brew tubers um, on Saturday and the pub's absolutely fantastic. Harry's done a fantastic job in there. It looks even better in person stood in it than it does on the video. The videos don't really do it justice and I think that's because you're more spatially aware in there and you know, the lights are just on that but absolutely wonderful. Harry you've done a fantastic job as I said on Saturday you're a bit of a superman because you've done this all by yourself with very little help and you've been working long hours and it's paid off but it's paid off. Um, now, oh yeah, the brew tubers were there, so hi to the brew tubers, lovely meeting you. Um, you know who you are, who I spoke, so I'm not going to mention uh, people by name because obviously I will probably miss someone out. Uh, but uh, it was great meeting you two uh, on Saturday. Craft Beer Pause was uh, doing a live cast and he was doing a hot cider which was interesting because I've not really come across a hot cider before so when I saw that I thought I'll come to check it out and when I did I found out that um, Eclipse Brewing from Seattle he made the hop cider from some experimental hops all interesting stuff so um, once the uh, live uh, thing has finished I hopped across and had a look at how uh, Eclipse um, did the hot cider which was all interesting stuff I've not I've not come across that before so I'll leave a link at the end I've got to admit I've messed up this week big style I got my summons wrong I my next bit that I'm moving on to is moving on to the fermenta fermentation chamber and I'm having to get all the bits and pieces for that and I messed up so it looks like um, the uh, videos that I want to make doing that are not going to happen so I might not have a video out next week so um, but I will kick one out as soon as I have something for you and on the note of the fermentation chamber I've, as you know I've been following um, Kevin um, Clements um, he's got a great post out there how he built his fermentation chamber that was six years ago and I remember watching that about a year after he posted it and I thought I've got to build something like that so um, I'm uh, on with that so I might kick a video out giving me thoughts on that and how I'm going to do it because it's still pretty much up there even though I've got the dimensions um, but it's still there. I've also hopped across to uh, new to homebrew Tom who isn't new to homebrew um, as much now because uh, I was watching one of his posts on a fermentation chamber that was done was it five or six years ago. Tom, you're looking young there, but you still look good. Um, but looking a bit young, beard's a bit longer, and you're sporting that really well. But yes, yeah, so I was checking out that. So I've been YouTubing, seeing how other people have done it, but I'm still coming back to the base of um, Kevin's and how he how how, how he did that. Um, so that's all to come. Um, on the, on the, hopefully it's going to be the next video. Um, I've just got in the brewery here, which I'm building, I've still got some odds and sods to take care of. Um, and I'll probably end up doing those. It's probably not worth um, documenting those because they're just um, little bits and bats. As you know, um, I was on the um, Facebook page. Um, you know who you are if you're familiar with it. Um, and my presence on there caused a bit of controversy because it didn't strictly go by the Facebook rule book. So I left the group. Um, a few posts are back and I've explained why. Um, now I've joined um, back in. I'm back in the uh, group. I've just been accepted. So it's a bit of breaking news um, while I'm putting this uh, video together. Um, so yeah, so uh, it'd be great to chat to you guys um, in the... Uh, Facebook um, group and uh, looking forward to having some banter and on that now I think we're done so uh, if I don't kick out another video before Christmas and if you celebrate Christmas um, happy Christmas and hope you have a good one if you don't celebrate Christmas uh, season's greetings and uh, 
wishing you all the best as well. So take care and mash on.